So, um, the, the, what you hear in my voice is I just, man, I just, I feel bad for the kids. They're really, really trying. They're really trying. And, and it's just, you know, all day to day, all I kept thinking about when, okay, when will it come? And if it comes, will we handle it? We, every time just rears his head, will we handle it better? Will we handle it better? Well, again, we, we didn't handle it better again today. And it's been nine straight probably games that this has happened to us where you get that two or three or four minute stretch and we just, uh, you got to sit in timeout. I saw their eyes in the timeout that it was just, you know, some <laughs> questions. Inexperience. I, and then what I mean by inexperience is not, it's not about age, it's about being in these situations before. You know, this group with this team hadn't played together and they haven't, they, so they're inexperienced playing with each other. Then they're inexperienced. You know, I've got two guys that at the end of the game, and as well as they're playing, Christian, and uh, Christian was a four at Rhode Island last year, played not one possession of point guard. Then Tashawn brings it up, didn't play one possession of point guard at, at, at to the place he was at. So we're playing guys at, at positions, that, especially at end of the games when you're trying to win, you know. Um, and so that's part of the growing pains, you know, you know, not having that true point guard that we need to be able to do that. So. Um, so I saw some things I really liked today. I saw some things I liked at Houston, man. And the thing is, man, we're we're, we're battling. The, the kids are fighting. It's just it's just eating me up inside. I can't tell you how bad it's just eating me up inside right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it started before that. We were trying to run. We, we kind of have what we call our, um, mm -hmm. when you got a three or four point lead, you know, basically kind of run a double ball. It's kind of a, not even a delay, but it just gets the ball over. And we never even came off of it, you know. And so, um, so that's just tough. I mean, you know, the kids are devastated, you know. Um, they, they really are. Um, and I'm, I'm devastated for them. But as I told them, it, 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 you know, we'll look back on this um, and it'll be a blip on the screen. I, I walked in the, today and my son flew into the game today. And uh, he reminded me, he said, remember my freshman year when we won, we lost nine out of 10 and how it was a struggle. And I said, why are you telling me that? <laughs> but he said, what was the great part about that is he said that same group was a, was a half away from going to the Sweet 16. So that, you know, again, I know what I'm doing here. I know the, the purpose for this, but going through it is never easy and it's never easy for the kids. And so, um, so we'll, 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 we'll keep going. We'll keep going, so. Well, you know, it was harder today than any of them. But, um, you know, we just talk about, you know, we, we move on. You know, it's that no one feels sorry for us and, and, and we move on. And, and uh, as I told them, it hasn't been a game that we haven't been in. The problem is we've played 27 minutes. we played 32 minutes. we played 35 minutes. We haven't played a complete 40 minutes. And, and, that's, and so now it's just it's, it's, it's so mental right now that I can't even tell you. Um, I can see it, you know, all of a sudden get the free throw line. You, you get, it, it's short. You know, and so it gets mental. Guys taking shots, and all of a sudden we've been getting back all game, and then we don't get back. You know, it's the little things. And so, um, but as I told the young guys, it's the character of, of, of so as we, as, as, as the program grows, these things will be, you know, much easier for us to, to comprehend. High tower hit two early threes, and it just seemed a different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, the, the, the thing is, <laughs> I think I've said this before, we fix one thing and we get to, then, then we get a spring on another thing. And so our inside guys, I think KJ was 2 of 16 and Kevin was, you know, he got in foul trouble. And then, you know, we, so we just, whenever we fix something, it's like a hole comes, goes in, you know, into another, it's like a boat with, with holes in it. And so, um, you know, we really work with Deshaun and, and I think Christian's playing some of his best basketball's career. And then, you know, then the other guys, we, it's just, you know, and we don't have a lot of depth, you know, but that's, you know, just because we're new. But um, give them credit. I thought, you know, Temple fought back. And, but, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're, we'll be fine. I, it's just, um, I think, the, as I said before, I think it's more me than them. It's, so, it's saying the win, but then the big like, thing is now it's just a matter of just getting that win and trying to get the confidence back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, really, what, what what happens is that, as I said before, whenever you're whenever you're building a program, and, and make no mistake, we're building a program. We're not rebuilding a program. We're building a program. But when that happens, is is that you, at some point, you got you got to go through adversity. We didn't go through adversity at the beginning of the season, and so there was nothing to handle. And so uh, I thought at first adversity for us all started happening when we went to Washington D.C. and uh, I thought we and, and we didn't play well in either game. And really, since that time. I don't think that we've been the same team confidence-wise. 
And so for, for whatever reason that, you know, that, that, you know, lost two there, we were, ro we were rolling going into that. And then I thought we came out of it a little bit, you know, beating Cincinnati here, but, um, you know, it's, it's, and that's part of it. And then the other part of it is, is leadership and I'm not, it's not poor leadership. It's just, you gotta understand not one guy led his team a year ago this time. And so when everything is new and you're playing at this level, you know, these are the things that would happen. I, again, I will say this. I would be more concerned if this was an effort issue. I'd be more concerned if we just flat out don't have any talent at all. Uh, the way we're playing and we're in every single game gives me encouragement. Again, if it was, you know, one thing I, I, I keep telling myself, if this was easy, everyone in the country would just basically go get 12, 13 new players a year and start, you don't do that. Because, you know, the one thing I can't recruit, you can't recruit experience. And you can't recruit, the, you know, some of the things that you that you have to go through. And so to answer your question, we had to go through that. And so we're going through it now. We're going through it when you, against really good teams. So. Mm -hmm. Pretty well. Early this I patched that hole up. <laughs> I patched that hole. The other hole didn't go. So, um, you know, but it, it's 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 um, again. Um, I know I, I I can see what's going on, and I know this is this is this is going to be. I again, what you see in the frustration of me, I feel bad for my players, and I feel bad for the Tulane fans. I really do. And and and, um, but if you're patient, if you're just patient, I've been through this before. It will happen. Um, again, keep cheering these kids on, man. They're playing really really hard. Um, I guarantee none of my, no one's going to want to play us in a conference tournament because this isn't you just show up and you just beat us. Um, so uh, it's just that, that's my frustration because I know that we'll we'll we'll, we'll get these to these fans and know you know fans are fans we'll, we'll, we'll they'll be able to, to reap the benefits of this but that those foundation guys when i see christian playing like that and kj they set a foundation those two guys came in here and they've set an unbelievable foundation for our program and so uh um i want to win for those guys that's that's what's killing me you know because when you leave you know you leave a kansas or you leave a rhode island two programs are doing really well right now and they, they're come to help me do this and so that's what i feel bad about you know the losses and those things well i mean this is you, you almost kind of expect that. I mean, the leadership, I'm supposed to give leadership in that, but I can't give leadership when I feel bad for two kids that, that are doing that and for the fans because I think that we, we, uh, Tulane deserves a, a big-time basketball winner. And we'll get, I'm going to give you that. Make no mistake about that. I, that that's going to happen. It's just, again, we got to get through this patch. Hey, Coach, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, can, can you compare this to like some other tough stretches you've gone through? Yeah. Well, every place I've been. Um, when I was at when I was at IEPY, we, we, we went from NAI to Division One, and so man, that was tough. And so, uh, but our third year in Division One, we go to the NCAA tournament. Um, took over Georgia State, and uh, we I think we we won 13 games my son's freshman year, and um, um, and that was it was really hard switching. You know, we're switching conferences and all the other stuff, and it was just, and it was even worse with that. They didn't even let us play in the conference tournament, and so I've done that. And then I think the third year, no, the fourth year there. Um, we went to the NCAA tournament. And so, um, uh, but this team, this team in both of those years is more talented than both of those teams that I had in that regard. So um, that's why I said I've been through this. I understand it. I know it's not easy, um, but I, I see a lot more positive things to build on than, than anything else. And so um, I'm not going to let, uh, and, and not people come up, I'm okay. I hate when people come up like, like you know, I'm, guys, I'm coaching basketball. I'm, I'm okay, and I, no, my, I love my kids. They're playing hard. Uh, we're taking over a situation that, that you know, that, that we've had to build. And um, I have a couple of my friends said they, they, they're rebuilding at some places, but at Tulane, we're not rebuilding. We, we're building a program. And so when you build from and – and I knew you had to build from foundations, which is why I tore it up from the beginning. And so, uh, you know, there's some pieces that we know we need, and we're going to get those pieces. Um, I, and, again, I like our young guys. And so um, – Hang in there with us. We're, 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 we're going to be fine. Again, with your frustration, and, and I'm going to be frustrated because I'm loyal to my kids, especially seniors. And so those those two guys that have really come in and set, laid that foundation, man, it's a, it, it's, it's, it's a, I want to win for them. And so um, Deshaun's getting better. He's going to be, you know, all these guys will be better second year in our program. And so, uh, um, I, you know, I thought it was too bad that Kevin kind of got in foul trouble. I thought he was starting to, you know, after his last game was playing a little bit better. So, so uh, we, you know, we keep doing it. We keep fighting. And, uh I guess I'm going to look at this one day and uh, and uh, just smile like I did at Georgia State and like I did at IEPY. So. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it.